Okay. I'm going to have a full introductory video into my new name. Okay. But first, um, I don't know if that's going to be posted first or if this will be posted first. Um, but if that's not posted first, I will just give you a rundown. Um, you knew I was with another makeup company. Um, I have since left that company and I have moved on to um, a different company. Um, I'm not going to disparage the old company. Um, I am going to talk very favorably about the new one. Um, their makeup is called Mascara. Um, it's named after the creator. Kara is her name. And she wanted to create a quick fake foundation routine for busy people. Now, she's a mom of, I believe, five children now. Um, her and her husband did the foster program in Utah, and they adopted three children through that and then had two biological children, so I think that's right. Um, and she found that she needed a quick way to do foundation. It's called 3D foundation. It's 3D because it gives your face definition and gives your face color when you need it, okay? So I'm going to say I'll go into it more in the whole other video about why I switch companies and all that. But this is stay spray, okay? This is a setting spray, but I use it as a face primer before I do my foundation, okay? And I use my perfector sponge, and I just... What I'm doing. Spray it on there. Have it all over my face. It smells really good. Too. Um, we also have a stay spray with SPF in it. Um, I don't use the one with SPF because um, it made me a little bit oilier for some reason. Um, so, but you want your face pretty, pretty damp. Now, you can take this and spray it on your face as well. Either way, works fine. I just like using the sponge to press it in. Um, you do want your face to be, you can see, it's pretty damp. You want it to be that way, okay? So, this is the artist palette. If you were to buy this, you would get a compact that has your specific colors in it. Again, I will talk more about that in the other video, and I will show you all those kind of things. So, I'm just quickly going to kind of go through what I do and put my face on for you. You can see I am extremely, extremely broken out. I have been sick. I've had the flu. I have walked pneumonia. I have bronchitis. <clears throat> so, if my voice is a little, you know, that's why. Okay. Now. I'm gonna do a series of videos about this makeup um, because I wanna show you all the different ways that you can use it. There are, I, I mean, I can't even tell you how many different ways there are to put this on, okay? So, I'm going in with my color, um, well, colors, actually, I should say. Um, I use a darker shade to cover the redness. You're gonna see that. And my darker shade that I use is wheat. And look, it comes in pans like this. You can see mine is well loved. Um, but I'm going in with wheat. And I just go in and dab it. And this is the um, Hack Brush. Hack stands for highlight and contour. Because that's what gives your face the 3D look. It's when you have definition to your face. So I just put it right there over all those red spots. Now, if you have perfect skin, you're not gonna need as much coverage as I do. That's the great thing about this, is you can build this coverage from very, very light coverage to absolute hardcore drag queen full coverage. Um, I'm also just taking that down my neck um, I just like for my neck to be a little bit darker because when I get done with my face, you know, my neck to match. And so, if you 
with it a little bit darker down your neck after you do your bronzing and all of that you're gonna match perfectly you're gonna see just watch now I'm doing it the way that I do it everybody has a different way and I'm gonna show y'all in upcoming videos all the different ways that you can apply these cream products okay you have your highlight color which is this even though it's technically covering up it's lighter so it's highlighting so I'm highlighting first um, cover up all the darkness then I'm going in with my actual highlight color which I dip into um, aura and candlelit I mix them together and you see I didn't even clean my brush between the colors. That is also what's great about it is you can be in between two colors and you can use either of the colors and they'll both blend seamlessly into your skin. So, and I'm just using a stippling motion and just stippling it on. And really, I'm, you see me dipping, but I'm not putting a lot of product. It's like a, I mean, it's a dip dip. I mean, like, there's hardly any product on here at all. Okay? You don't need a lot of product. This product goes a long, long way. Okay? But I just get a little bit at a time. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologize if I cough during this. Um, but yeah, I get a little bit at a time and just stipple it on. See, I mean, even that much has covered all of those parts. I'm going to go back and really cover them. Um, show you how I do that for any of you that do have acne or scarring or anything like that. Um, so... And you really, I mean, just, you can go ham with this if you want to. I mean, it is up to you. And if I wasn't talking and I just did this, Kara has it set up that, and I think it works well if you have really good skin, I'll be honest. I think any makeup works better if you have good skin. Um, which I'll do a whole nother video on skincare too. Um, updated skincare and all that. Um, but unfortunately, with my autoimmune illnesses, I don't have perfect skin. I will never have perfect skin again. Um, I don't have any illusions about that. Um, and because of that, people with really good skin can get this process done in five minutes. You can have your face on in five minutes flat out the door. I, it takes me about 10 minutes. 10 to 15 depending on how much you know because I'm a little extra I'm on the drag queen end of things you know you know how that goes switch brushes and I'm going into the detail pack brush and I'm going to go in with um, our very lightest shade which is moonlit and I'm taking the small end of this brush and I'm just going to and again, if you don't need all the coverage under here, you could just go in with those two colors and be done, okay, for your highlight part. I need a little brightening. Just put it on my nose a little bit, a little bit of my cupid's bow. You know, I mean, if we're going to highlight and contour, we're just... I'm telling you, I'm on the track queen end of things, so I'm going, going hard with it, okay? You don't have to do this. These are all just extra steps. Now, this side of the brush, okay, going in with my contour, okay? What I use for contour is I use ash. Sometimes I use olive. Um, ash has really been my go-to. So I just dip the brush in there and you get it. And then you want to find your cheekbone, okay? If you have a very full face like I do, you might not be able to like press it and find it. 
So start at the top of your ear right here. You never want to go all the way down to your lips, okay? That's, you don't want to do that. You really only want to come, if you're going to bring it all the way down, just come to halfway to your eyebrow, okay? If you need to do the fish face, do fish rice. Okay? Now, I know. I know, I know, I know. It's scary to you because you're like, oh my word. You have a huge dark line down your face. I know. It's all good. Calm down. So again, just picking up a little bit of product. Okay? Just a little bit of product. You don't need much. This stuff goes a long, long way. Okay? And I like mine kind of blown out like that. Um, you can go ahead and start blending it um, at this step if you would like. I don't choose to do that. All good. Now, I am going to go in before I finish and do what I call touch-ups on my spots. I'm taking our eyeshadow everything brush and I'm taking the tiny baby in and going into my darkest color wheat. And I'm going to spot control all of these terrible, horrible spots. Okay. Now see that. Now, you might not have to do that. And if you don't, I'm very jealous. Also, because this is a cream product, it melts into your skin phenomenally. I mean, phenomenally. Um. So I'm gonna let that sit and then these are our lip and cheek colors. We have a vast array of them. Um, and I'm using the small end of our uh, powder brush to go in to pick up my blush color. And since I have a purple pink eye, I'm going to go in with Dahlia. That one right there. You can tell she's well liked. It's her before. Just going in with a small end. Picking it up just a little bit. I mean, you don't need a lot. And this goes right here above your contour. See? Again, if I'm not talking and I'm not explaining, this is done. We're moving on. Okay? But again, you build up the color and the coverage that you want. Um, I'll be honest, I was never a big blush person. I didn't really like it. Um, but having used this product, I am addicted to blush. I mean, addicted. So, again, I like it to be a little extra. Now, I have a very full face, okay? I'm doing this for my face shape. I can, if you would like, if you have a heart shaped face, an oblong face, any other kind of face shape other than round, if you would like me to walk you through the steps of where your placement would be, I am more than happy to do that. But because I am round faced, I don't ever put it right there on the apples of my cheeks, okay? Because that really just emphasizes the roundness of my face, and I don't want that. So, now, if you want to, you can contour along whatever you have left. You can contour along your jawline, just like that. Tuck it in a little bit, you know. Then, if you want... Can now, I have to find it because you know, I don't have anything where you need it. Take, and this is totally up to you. Oh, 
I switch palettes, and so where is my? Okay, I have no idea where my Bella bronzer is. I will be honest with you. Oh, I found it. She was hiding. Here's my Bella bronzer. Take the big end of the blush brush that we just used. Dip a little bit in the Bella bronzer. And this just warms up, you know, where the sun would hit. You just dab a little bit, just like that. Real simple, real easy, nothing. You know, um, if you feel like you need to deepen your contour after you've uh, put the Bella Bronzer on or whatever, you can. Um, let me go in and darken it a little bit. Because like I said, I'm going to be extra. Okay. Also, teach you this little trick. Take a pencil brush go into a contour color i'm using indigo dip it in there and watch okay and just lining our lips with the indigo okay so that's going to give you that pouty look okay now I usually go back in and touch up anything and blend out the lighter colors into the colors we've been using if I need to get right here I flip that brush over and get in there Okay, now I just go ahead and put it all over. You don't have to, I just do it because I'm so heavy handed with all of it. Okay, so that is that. Now, you can be done at this point. You can decide, oh no, I need more, I need less. I'm going to go in and add, we have what are called illuminators, okay? And I'm going to go in with Dream, and it's a pink, okay? And I'm just going to put that, and it's a cream, put that along right there. I'm not looking you off, sorry. I ran it down the bridge of my nose, and I'm going to keep this bow, okay? So I do that, and then... Part is up to you. You can leave it like it is, spray the stay spray so that it locks everything in. Um, I personally, um, I like to set it. I like to bake my face, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you. I'm using uh, Cody Airspun, um, and I'm taking a. Just a little perfecter, picking it up, and this is gonna make a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this is why I don't get dressed before I do this, okay? But I go in and tap out any creases under my eye, okay? You see all that fall out? It's because it's one color. Okay, same thing over here. I mean, you get fallout, and it's okay. We're gonna come down here. This is what is called baking. You do not have to do this. I just prefer a matte foundation. Okay. I just prefer it to a real dewy look because I'll get oily throughout the day. And 
this actually will help stop that. So anywhere that I put highlighter, I usually go in with, see, like I said, I mean, it's all over me. That's why I don't get dressed before I do this. <laughs> and I keep my hair pulled back. Okay. So, make sure this is good and powdered. Okay. And you don't need to look a little crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. So, we'll close that up. Dust yourself off. Now, we're going to do, do some brows. Okay. So, I'm just taking a spoolie. I'm just going to comb my brows out. Okay. Then I'm going to take an angled shadow brush and I'm going into Cola. Okay. It's our darkest contour. But because I have black hair and I have black eyebrows, so I'm just picking a little bit up and I kind of start a little bit back this way. Okay. And I just follow the shape of my brow. And just fill it in and because this is a cream it keeps all the hairs in place like I said we're like 20 something minutes in but like I said if I hadn't been talking and explaining this is done in 10 to 15 minutes my entire face is done um, that includes eyes and everything so um, but I'm talking, which I like to do. So, just going in with the cola. Um, a lot of people will use our shadows, um, to fill in their brows if they've got lighter brows. Um, I just prefer the cola and I just prefer the look that it gives. Um, because I like a strong brow. So, I'm just fully in through them again, just kind of softening those edges, I'm going to do that with a spoolie. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Dahlia, so I'm going to pick a little bit up on my finger, put it on my lips, because it's our lip and cheek, okay, so I'm going to not just set that beautifully again all of this I realize is extra you don't have to be extra okay you don't have to do that so now what I'm gonna do is go in with Cayman it is our right there and a powder brush take the small end and this is a powder bronzer so I just do this over where I had the other bronzer, um, the contour, and I just put that on to really to set it, basically is what it does. Then I'm going in, I'm picking up a little bit of the All Nighter Urban Decay um, powder, just dipping the fluffy end on it a little bit, and then going in and brushing everything off and I make sure to set my neck but you always want to bring everything down that you do okay and then just leave it that way and if there's anywhere that needs a little touch up or whatever because we got you know can do that um i'm gonna go in with our powder highlighters okay and i'm gonna pick up starlet just a little brush okay just where i put that cream illuminator it's still on there i just love that extra Anytime you can have shimmer, it's amazing. Okay. Got the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. Okay. 
All right. So, now, you might think, oh, it still looks harsh. That's, I like the way it came together, okay? Like I said, this product is buildable. You can go back in with your sponge that you sprayed with the stay spray and you can pat it over your face and lock everything down, okay? And it will pick up the excess powder and things like that, okay? If you feel like you're too powdery or anything like that. So now you can go in with the stay spray if you want to, to set it. Um, I actually use the Urban Decay Chill to set mine most of the time if I'm gonna set it. Um, just because I like that one. I'm just used to it. Um, but yeah, you can do either. But So that is the mascara makeup. Um, I love it. I love the company. I love what it stands for. Again, I'm going to do an in-depth video on mascara and all of that. But that was just a quick how I wear it. Again, like I said, and like I say in all my videos, I'm on the far end of extra when it comes to makeup and things like that. You can do a very, very, very light toned down version of what I have going on. No problem. I will actually do a video where I don't go so extra and I don't, you know, all, all out like that. Um, to show you different methods of how to use the contour, the blush, the, found, the highlight, all of that. Um, so let me know questions that you have below. If you want to color match, I'll be more than happy to help color match you. Um, again, this product, I can't rave enough about this product. It is amazing. Um, it's amazing what it's done for my skin. I know you don't think so, having seen me as broken out as I was, but again, I've been really sick and my face shows it. Um, but I mean, look at that coverage. I mean, yeah, you can see the raised bumps. You're not ever, I mean, never, never would I put on the amount of foundation and stuff that it would take to make you not see bumps, okay? Not gonna lie, skin's not perfect, but this product, the highlight, the contour, the blush, amazing. This is the final look. Look at my glow. Look at my glow. Fabulous. So, let me know what questions you have. Again, I'm going to do an in-depth video about the whole transition from one company to another. And I will show you in upcoming videos different ways that you can apply the highlight contour. Okay? Um, so, yeah. So, I will see you soon. Bye.